I don't care what your plans were for today, they're about to change. So call in sick to work, and I don't give a shit if it's like the biggest day of your life, your wife's in labor right now, delivering your brand new baby into this world, and you're on the way to the hospital right now to be supportive and help, you're about to pull over. Because I'm going to show you a man that's going to make you too horny to function. You're going to black out from pure ecstasy. I'm talking, of course, about Dimitri, the lover. A couple days ago, I gave you just a small appetizer, a little taste of Dimitri, the lover. And my god, it tasted like ass. Now, I mentioned in the last video, Dimitri, the lover, was actually an alias used by a pickup artist named James Sears. James Sears used to be a name that strike fear into the hearts of women everywhere. He's like the boogeyman. But if the boogeyman was like five times scarier, he looks like if Tommy Wiseau and Harvey Weinstein did a fusion dance. And yes, he has been rearrested, like I mentioned, but today I wanted to finish the voicemails that he left because in the viral TikTok video we covered, it was only half of the story. And I think it's not right that we don't get the conclusion here to this wonderful fairy tale of sadness and disaster. This dude, I have to imagine, was collecting restraining orders like Pokemon cards back in his prime. Like, goddamn. So, we're picking up right where we left off. I had a long-distance relationship. You know, when a year, it's very tough to maintain it like that, and it didn't work out. There's nothing wrong with me. Matter of fact, I'm one of the few men in the city that has nothing wrong with him. It's about time, finally, a man with nothing wrong with them. A sane, rational, nice guy. I don't even know why he brings up a long-distance relationship that failed. I guess he's just still very upset about it, and you can still kind of hear that pain in his voice. It's just a, an old scar now, a battle wound that he can't help but pour salt in. Oh yeah, the relationship failed all because of her, no fault of my own. Uh, there's nothing wrong with me, she did it. But it doesn't bother anymore, I'm completely over it, I've moved on, I swear to god I've moved on. I've had sex 50 fucking times a day ever since and I'm much happier now, I fucking promise you, and don't you ever question whether or not I'm happy about it. Also, I have to doubt whether or not this relationship ever existed in the first place. It seems like another classic manipulation tactic from pickup artists where you're supposed to make yourself look as pathetic as possible in front of a woman, hoping that she feels bad enough to have sex with you. So I'm giving you that 3 o'clock deadline. If I don't hear from you, you lose my number. I'm erasing yours right now, so you won't be hearing back from me. So that's it. 3 o'clock tomorrow, or you can just completely forget it. Actual serial killer vibes coming off of this guy here. Straight up the Riddler from the new Batman movie. Hitting him with the, the less you have of it, the more valuable it becomes. But instead of the answer being friends, in this case, it's brain cells. I don't understand how someone becomes this delusional, this out of touch, and not have a single iota of self-awareness like, damn, this is creepy. He is actually pretending to be a, a fucking movie villain. Now, I understand if you've got other issues, like maybe you're not playing games, maybe you've had, I don't know, maybe you were abused in childhood, maybe your mother has cancer, you're going to chemo, maybe you're just a person who's extremely frightened or has, um, has an anxiety disorder, maybe you're on uh, some medication for that, I don't know, there could be another issue that I'm not aware of. Honestly, that's the only logical explanation for why she hasn't called him back yet that she must have been abused as a child. All of that trauma from her childhood makes it very difficult to fall in love with a real good man like James Sears. Honestly, this voicemail reminds me of the movie One Missed Call, the old horror movie that scared me when I was a child, where you get like a phone call and it's a voicemail of you dying on the other end and then you die in real life. Getting a voicemail from James would be scarier than if One Missed Call was real. Like, this guy is so unbelievably creepy he's making my butthole pucker like i just feel like i'm going into fight or flight mode just listening to this voicemail from the outside i briefly hinted at deeper lore in the last video with the whole james sears anime and once we're done with the voicemail i'll get into it a little bit more but he actually had his own weird creepy newsletter too so it wasn't just directly harassing women and making them feel unsafe he also did it using writing as well but nobody says, call me, hands a person a business card, and then doesn't return calls. It's extremely passive-aggressive. You should actually look that up, passive-aggressive personality disorder. 
and you let me know if, if you've got issues, psychological issues, if you're on any sort of medication for anxiety or depression, I'm not interested. Dude's making this sound like one of those dick-growing pill commercials like Cialis or whatever. If you're taking any of the following medication, then Dimitri the Lover's not interested, and then just goes into list potential side effects. You also gotta love the pickup artist classic of insulting the women. Oh, you should look into passive-aggressive personality disorder. I am a licensed psychiatrist, so I am diagnosing you, in fact, with that personality disorder. And you're lucky that I'm even taking the time to continue talking to you because you're diseased. You're filthy. That is an actual pickup artist staple. Just point blank insulting women and being obnoxious assholes and expecting sex in return. Just like, hey, you stupid bitch. You disgusting harpy. I bet you suffer from loose pussy disorder. But whatever, I'm a nice enough guy to give you the time of day. So when are we fucking? It's so baffling to me, because almost every pickup artist guru I've ever listened to recommends some type of manipulation tactic that includes belittling and insulting the woman. And you can see it on full display here in these voice messages. Okay, but if you're psychologically normal, and you haven't called me because there's been some horrible thing that's happened in your life which prevented you, that's fine. But otherwise, don't call me, okay? Bye. Yeah, that's right. There's only one excuse for not calling Dimitri the lover back, and that's if you've been kidnapped or maybe severely injured by a falling meteor or something. That's the only possible explanation for why someone wouldn't return Dimitri the lover's phone calls. I love that perspective. Oh, God, she hasn't called me in a week. Something must be wrong. She must have been kidnapped by terrorists. I'm gonna have to leave her an angry voicemail about it. It's so wild. She must have been abused as a child. Otherwise, why didn't she call me back? It just doesn't make any sense. I'm just such a catch. I'm the only guy here that is just perfect for her and she hasn't called me back. Thus, something must have gone awry. Maybe she has some kind of psychological disorder. Yeah, that's probably it. She's not sane like I am. So weird. But anyway, uh, that's the end of the voicemails from Dimitri the Lover, at least the ones that I find. This was the director's cut of it. Uh, however, that's not where James Sears' story ends. So like I briefly mentioned, James Sears had a publication that eventually got him tossed in the slammer. That's what he was arrested for. The publication was very anti-Semitic and misogynistic. He was arrested on hateful conduct and then re-arrested after breaking parole. I've only been able to find a few snippets of his publication, and you can see just how deranged this shit looks. It's like an old GeoCities internet page in like the late 90s. It is formatted like it's actually from a crazy person in Arkham Asylum. This shit is bafflingly wacky. And it's not easy to say this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. It makes me question whether or not Dimitri the Lover really was as sane as he said he was in those voicemails. He said it, he was the only man in the city with nothing wrong with him. But then I look at this publication and, and I think to myself, Are you sure? You sure there's nothing wrong with you? You know, I just have to doubt it. But again, it's Dimitri the Lover, alright? The, the savant of seduction, the savior of sex, right? Like, who am I to question his expertise? Uh, but yeah, anyway, I just wanted to at least finish the voicemail and tell you a little bit of, a little bit more about James Sears, aka Dimitri the Lover. Yeah, that's about it. See ya.